Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to showcase number six. Tonight, it's all about Openor. Alongside Matthew Hurley, Director of East Region Sales for Openor. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, Mark. We have a great lineup for you tonight. We're super excited about the opportunity to virtually take a tour of the factory out there in Apple Valley, Minnesota. Great opportunity for us. We're going to be presenting in between tour opportunities, some new products, new tools, new fittings, all kinds of exciting for stuff for us. This does not happen without a lot of work. We appreciate your time and effort, as well as the Granite Group branches, outside sales team, as well as you'll meet the Upanor team as well, because what's great about Upanor is there's a lot of support out there between the Granite Group, URL, and Upanor. So a great opportunity. Matthew, I'm, I'm just so shocked that we have this opportunity to take this virtual tour, take our friends on a virtual tour tonight. Years ago, when I first started going out to the factory, we signed non-disclosures and we had to shut off our phones for a week. I think they're in for a great treat. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Well, thank you, Michael. We appreciate that. And we're excited to show you Upanor's manufacturing facility tonight. And along with our distribution partner, the Granite Group, this should be a fun evening for the next hour. So just a little history, Upanor has been manufacturing uh, PEX products in the United States for the past 30 years. These three tours you're about to see will give you a great glimpse into the insight on how our products are manufactured. Uh, and with that, I think it's a, a really good time for us to take it away out to Minnesota. All right, off to Apple Valley, Minnesota. Welcome to the Upanor manufacturing floor. During this tour, we're going to show you how we make the industry's highest quality PEX A pipe. Our competitors like to say that all PEX is the same, but there is a definite difference between Upanor PEX A pipe and PEX pipe from other manufacturers. As we look at the extrusion process, we will see some of the factors that make Upanor pipe the most popular choice for building professionals. Our process begins with a unique blend of the highest quality resin, which you see here in the container. Every lot of this raw material that comes into the factory is assigned an individual number. This identifier follows the material all the way through pipe production, packaging, and distribution. This helps us track everything about our pipe so we can ensure it meets our high standards. We understand that the quality of the materials you install reflects on your business and the quality of your installations. In the unlikely event of an issue in the field, this individual lot number greatly improves the time to resolve the issue. At Upanor, we do not limit quality to a single department. It is a fundamental part of who we are and what we do. Now we'll show you how our unique blend of resin becomes PEX A pipe. As the raw material drops down into the core of the extruder, it is heated to over 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which melts the polyethylene. Next, hydraulic rams drive the pressure of the material up and force it through a tool that gives the pipe its inside and outside diameters. This combination of heat and high pressure cross-links the polyethylene and makes it the high-quality PEX A pipe Upanor is known for in the industry. As the pipe comes off the extruder, you'll notice that it's clear. This material is finished pipe that is already cross-linked. As it cools, it will turn the opaque color you are familiar with seeing in the field. At Upanor, we actively pursue opportunities to improve our energy performance through various ISO certifications. For example, we capture heat from cooling PEX pipe at the extruder and reuse that heat for other factory processes. Because cross-linking happens at extrusion, the process is uniform throughout the material, which gives our pipe thermal and elastic shape memory, making it flexible and durable. We also have the ability to repair kinked pipe, which can reduce wasted material and labor. Additionally, this shape memory is what makes our Propex connections fast and reliable, resulting in greater efficiency on the job. Here, you can see one of our printers applying the print string on the pipe. This print string contains all the pertinent information about the pipe, including the type and size, the codes, standards, and listings we need, and also the lot number we talked about earlier. This print string is important because during pipe production, we take several samples to the quality lab for testing. This testing is time sensitive. No pipe leaves the factory until these samples clear the quality lab. 
The Quality Lab is able to use this print stream to communicate back to the extrusion operators in real time if there is a quality issue, allowing the operator to make the necessary adjustments in the moment. After we make our base pipe, we can package it for distribution or use it to produce one of our other piping products. We can add an oxygen barrier layer to our pipe to produce Wurzbow heat packs. This piping is commonly used for hydronic heating and cooling applications. We can run the pipe through a corrugated sleeve to make pre-sleeved pipe, which is typical for in-slab plumbing applications. We can also make pre-insulated pipe or Ecoflex which is primarily used to move water for distributing energy between buildings supplied by a central mechanical plant. Our Upinor Aquapex plumbing pipe can be manufactured with a red or blue color for differentiation between hot and cold potable lines. We also offer a purple color for use in reclaimed water applications. The packaging line takes the large spools of pipe and breaks them down into a variety of coil lengths. These lightweight coils make it much easier to move the pipe around the job site and also to help eliminate waste by being able to cut the pipe to the exact length needed for your specific project. To create the individual coils, an operator loads full spools of piping into a recoil machine, which automatically spins the coil of pipe into the proper length. Near the end of the coiling process, the machine starts to wrap a layer of UV protective packaging around the coil. Before the packaging is completely applied, the pipe is cut and the machine completes the wrapping process. Before the next coil begins, the machine cuts a sample of pipe for quality purposes. The recoil operator will take these samples and perform dimensional testing using precision tools. The operator then documents the samples and delivers them to the quality lab for additional testing. This is another example of how every member of our manufacturing team is an integral part of the quality process. As the pipe is loaded onto the packaging line conveyor, it is labeled with a QR code. Various machines read this code for packaging and sorting purposes. This lean and efficient process enables us to package various products simultaneously, helping to meet our customers' delivery requirements. The next step on the packaging line are special shrink wrap machines responsible for putting the outer layer of packaging on the pipe. This layer adds additional protection on top of the white UV-inhibiting inner layer you saw earlier in the packaging process. Once the coil is wrapped, excess material is removed and recycled. Then the coils are fed into an oven and heat is used to shrink the outer layer of the packaging. In the Upinor punch and pull area, the outer layer of packaging is perforated and then stamped with a punch and pull sticker. With the punch and pull system, you are able to punch out the perforated center of the packaging then pull the exact amount of pipe you need. Then when you are done, you can place any excess material back into the original packaging to prevent damage to the pipe and to keep the job site clean. This is another area where Upinor takes extra steps in the manufacturing process to make it easier for you on the job site. Before we ship the pipe, we wrap the pallet stacks to ensure safe and efficient delivery of the material. These machines have special sensors that read the height of each pallet stack and then cut a custom encapsulation for each one. The machines lift each pallet to ensure the shipping material encloses each stack. This process of wrapping packages is more durable, uses less material, and requires 80% less time to complete than other methods. This extra step in our factory is our way of helping to ensure our product arrives to your job site in good condition. After this step, we send the pipe to our distribution center for shipment. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed your first tour, uh, part one of part three of the Apple Valley, Minnesota Upanor Factory. Uh, I'm Gary Stacy. This is Walter Kelly. We are with Urel Incorporated. Um, we're manufacturers of some incredible lines uh, and a great partner with Granite Group. And uh, some of those lines are Grunfoss. State Water Heater, Ward Flex. And, uh, you know, tonight we're here with Upinor and excited to be here. So tonight, um, Walter is actually going to show us one of the new tools right now that uh, they've come out with. Walter? Milwaukee has uh, come out with a new expansion tool. For you guys that have been around a long time, uh, back in the Wurzbo Upinor days, uh, we used to have old hand expanders. and They were quite uh, trying, if you will, I guess, so you can say that. Uh, they were difficult to use. Uh, it took a while to master how to use them. Once you could get there, it's 
it was questionable. Uh, Milwaukee, about 10 years ago, which I can't believe is that long. It's crazy to me. Uh, came out with a Propex expansion tool. Uh, Gary has the original version there. Um, it came out and it really revolutionized the way you make a fit. Uh, made it much easier, so much faster, uh, and now they've upgraded to a new version. So this tool, I've loved it for the last probably seven years. You're saying that they have a better tool right now? Yeah, well, they just came out with this, and it's you know it's brand new, just came out. Uh, Granite Group's got tons of these in inventory, actually. So what's the difference? Uh, it's a brushless motor, so it's more dependable. Uh, it doesn't heat up as much, much more reliable. It's got what's called rapid seal heads. The biggest difference with this is, for anybody that knows anything about PEX A tubing, uh, the PEX has a memory. So the longer you hold it in a shape, the slower it comes back, especially in cold weather. If you're in a cold weather environment and you stretch the pipe, the slower you stretch it, the slower it comes back. So what they did is they, they improved the cam speed on this tool where it's much faster. So it expands at a faster rate. We'll show you the difference here between Gary's older tool and mine. We we'll got the older tool. We'll just push it and show you the difference in the speed. It looks like yours is almost twice as fast as mine. Yeah, pretty much. So what does that do? So what it does is because it's faster, it doesn't have the PEX hold its shape as well. You're, you're expanding it rapidly, so it wants to seal faster. So it's actually going to seal the fittings for a water and air test about 65% faster than it did. Wow. Uh, we tested it in cold weather, uh, 40 degrees, and it came back much, much faster. So I think anybody that's had any issues with cold, wet, cold weather expansions will see a big difference in this tool. Uh, we're going to go through a demonstration and show you the difference as far as actually making a fitting. Uh, it's about six, seven seconds faster to make the fitting, but the important thing is how fast it seals. That's the big version of this. That's the big uh, improvement of this tool. So okay, so we're gonna we make just, a fitting right now. These are one inch fittings. One inch fittings. And we all know that with the tool that the one inch does put a lot of stress on the tool and it takes a little bit longer. So we're gonna compare the two. And this tool does come with half, three quarter and one inch heads. You can get three eighths or five eighths as a separate product if you'd like to buy it. Um, but it does come with a three heads and they advertise this tool to do half three quarter one. So right. why don't we go through it and see how it works? We'll let you say go. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll ready? Go. I pretty much sold it out now. I haven't gotten there yet. But we're getting there. I'm done. I'm still there, hold on. I'm there. All right. There you go. So, you know, the time factor, yeah, it's short. It's six, seven seconds to make a fitting. But like I said, it's the sealing time. The, the fitting's going to seal much faster. Uh, and it's going to be much more reliable. The head automatically rotates. Uh, it's just a great tool. And I think they brought it to the next level. Uh, they went from helping us out to bringing it to the next level where this fitting is going to be, you know, the standard in the industry. Can you um, remind people why this is such a much better fitting? Well, there's, how, big, there's a lot action? of differences. It's, it's an expansion fitting, uh, so you get much better flows than a standard insert fitting. An insert fitting, you're going to slide the fitting in. Uh, can I see that for a second? So an insert fitting would actually fit in here without expanding it. So it's a much smaller fitting. So you get much better flows through this. And not only that, it's the only fitting that works with the property of the pipe. What happens is we're expanding the pipe and the pipe's closing back and shrinking back on the fitting and tightening. A crimp or any type of an insert fitting you're actually sticking it in and then crushing the pipe around it. And the pipe naturally wants to open because it wants to go back to its original shape and size. So this is the only fitting that works with the property of the pipe. Uh, it is definitely the, you know, it's a manufactured fitting, best fitting in the industry. I love it. It's always been working for me. Yeah. Uh, so Gary, I think you wanted to mention something about a little special we might have coming up for these guys. We do. So uh, thank you for attending tonight. And I'm going to bring uh, Mike in here for a second and talk about a special that we have running for the attendees tonight. Yeah, we do have a promo going, guys. I'm just going to stay off to the side here. Uh, the new tool that you see there, the Milwaukee tool, it's a 2532, and it comes with or without the battery and charger. We have it in stock both ways. And between now, April 8th and April 30th, if you purchase this tool from the Granite Group at your regular price, you're going to enjoy well over $350 worth of free items. Those items include a new cutter, 
100 foot, 300 foot coil, 300 foot coil, as well as a job site organizer for your fittings. Gary, why don't you show us what the uh, tubing and the uh, tool and the organizer look like? Excellent. Thank you, Michael. So uh, you'll get a half inch, uh, 300 foot roll of half inch Aquapex tubing. And you'll get this organizer when you purchase your tool. And in there is going to have a whole bunch of assorted fittings uh, to get you going with um, what we call Upano Logic. And you'll be seeing that a little bit later on tonight. So with that, uh, let's go back out to Apple Valley, Minnesota and take uh, part two of the tour. Thank you. Welcome to Upanor's PEX Lab. During this tour, you will learn why building professionals across North America have put their trust in our PEX A-Pipe and ProPEX connection system for their projects. We'll show you how Upanor goes beyond PEX industry standards to a higher level that ensures superior quality and performance. PEX is cross-linked polyethylene. While some of you might think all PEX is the same, think again. The three types of PEX, PEX A, PEX B and PEX C are produced using different extrusion methods, each with varying degrees of cross-linking of the molecular chain in the pipe. Upanor PEX A pipe is more than 80% cross-linked, which is the optimal amount of cross-linking available for PEX pipe. This method, called the angle method, provides a high-level uniform cross-linking throughout the wall of the pipe for more flexible, durable product with thermal and shape memory properties when compared to PEX B and PEX C. You may be wondering why all of this technical information is important. So let's explain why this matters. Upanor's ProPEX connection system gives industry professionals a strong, reliable PEX fitting system that is fast and easy to learn, can never be dry fit, and provides better system flow. Industry professionals have come to regard the ProPEX connection system as a dependable solution that increases installer efficiency and provides greater confidence in system longevity and performance. Now let's make a ProPEX connection so you can see how easy it is. First, we place a ProPEX expansion ring over the end of the pipe and push the ring down until it reaches the stop edge. Then we expand the pipe and ring until the ring reaches the collar of the expansion tool. Finally, we insert the fitting into the expanded pipe. As the pipe and ring shrink back down to the original size, it creates a strong radial force around the fitting. When you see the ring up against the collar of the fitting, you have visual confirmation of a completed connection. You will notice that because we have the first expand the pipe in order to insert the fitting, the connection is impossible to dry fit. We know dry fitting is a huge problem in our industry and accounts for fitting blow-offs, leaks, and catastrophic water damage. Here, the inherent properties of the pipe and ring ensure the integrity of the connection. Additionally, because we are expanding the pipe, we are able to insert a large diameter fitting that is nearly the same inside diameter as the pipe itself. This means much less restriction for greater system flow compared to a crimp style PEX connection. Also, you may not need to upsize your system to a larger, more expensive pipe and fittings to account for loss of flow through the connections. Next, let's talk about the durability of Upanor's PEX A pipe in the ProPEX connection system. We know your reputation depends on installing materials that will last, and we are proud to offer high quality products that are manufactured and tested for performance. Upanor PEX A pipe is extremely durable and flexible, with the ability to expand up to three times its manufactured diameter and stretch up to three times its manufactured length without failure. We'll demonstrate this using our pipe stretcher. We know that pipe installed on the job site can face unexpected conditions and stress. This machine is going to put the pipe under more stress than it would ever encounter on a job site. But we're doing this to show you the strength of the Upanor PEX A pipe and ProPEX connections. Now let's add a kink to try to damage it further. By looking at this pipe, you would assume it's ruined, but it's completely repairable. When we apply heat to the stretched and kinked pipe, 
it is going to return to the same size and shape it was on the day it was manufactured. Of course, this demonstration goes far beyond what pipe experiences in a typical installation. But this is why they go to extremes in our PEX lab. So you can have confidence when you're installing Upanora on your jobs. In the event your pipe experiences freeze-ups or kinks, you can make repairs right in the field. The pipe's flexibility and durability helps reduce expensive damages and minimizes material waste and unnecessary costs. Additionally, the quick learning curve and ease of installation for the Propex connection systems also helps with skilled labor challenges, while the lightweight properties of the pipe make it easier to move around the job site. Best of all, PEX does not experience the market price fluctuations as copper, so you're able to bid jobs more confidently. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour. Uh, I'm here with Dylan Douglas, uh, another co-worker from URL. We're here to talk about a couple of different uh, plumbing styles, some different ways you can save some time and labor. Um, as you can see here on my right, there's piles of copper tubing, fittings, solder, different things like that. This is what you would need to typically rough this job right here. Dylan, can you show them the, the mess of the material over here we have? Sure, I'm sure you're gonna have the young guy carry these down the stairs, right? You know, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so with trunk and branch, we got all this heavy pipe to carry, all these miscellaneous, miscellaneous fittings, um, torch and flame here, solder. Um, so Walter's gonna you know, uh, introduce a different way to do this with us that uh, is going to be able to save your backs, knees, t time and labor. It's all about saving time, guys. I mean, we can all sit there and fight over pennies on pipe fittings, different things like that, but that's not really where you're going to save your money. You're going to save your money if you can get in and out of jobs. That's what it's all about. Um, sitting there looking through this material, it's crazy how much stuff's there. If we take a look at another way that's typically plumbed, it's called home run. Uh, there's a lot of people that love home run systems. They put a manifold in the basement, and they run half inch lines up snaked all through the house to each fixture. Um, it's an easy way to do it. You're connecting one end to the other. It's also 1500 feet of pipe. All this pipe you see right here. We love selling pipe. I mean, I got no problem if you want to use that. It's just not the best way to do it. We want to save you time. We want to help you make more money on your jobs. So what we have, Dylan, show them what's, what's here for the home run. How much pipe do we have? There? We have about 1500 feet of pipe here. Um, and not only is this, you know, quite an expense, but what a ton of work labor into, involved into running this home run plumbing style. And it's a complete mess. And it's not a good hot water delivery system. I mean, you're talking, you, have, you could have upwards of 150, 200 foot runs of half inch going from the manifold to a fixture. Uh, you know, hot water delivery is horrible. You know, it's just not a good way to do it with no way of researching. So we have a third way. It's called open or logic. What this is, is a combination of both. You're going to take one half, I'm sorry, one three quarter cold, one three quarter hot, and you're going to run it up through the house. As you get into a bathroom group, you're going to use one of these pre assembled tees. You're going to feed in, and you can get them with all different variations. I think we have 38 or so different models of these. Uh, you can get it with two, three, whatever you want. And you're going to come off with short runs of half inch to your, to your fixtures, whatever you need. You could flow directly through, go to the next bathroom, and then go to a stub end to finish. So basically, you're going to put the stub end here. All different configurations. If you're doing a back-to-back -back bathroom, we have back-to-back. -back, so you can go right through the wall and do two different units in two different areas. We have three-quarter for tubs. All different ways you can do this. It's so much faster and so much easier. If you look here, we built 600 feet of pipe, 59 connections, and only 16, uh, 16 fittings. Much easier way to pipe. If you want to do recirc, when you get to that last one, you just take a line a half inch from here, and you just run this back. It gives you a complete research line. It's a great way to plumb. It's faster and easier. This is the way you're going to get this done. You're going to get off a job, go take your wife and kids out to dinner because you're going to have more time. That's what you want to do. It's all about that. So we just kind of wanted to go through this, show you guys some different ways of doing it, some different ways of thinking how to plumb. Uh, because everybody's been plumbing the same way for so long. Upano wants to help you be able to do it faster and quicker. So uh, at this point, I think we're going to go back to the third tour, get you guys back out to the factory, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it.
At Upinor, quality is more than a department. It is a mindset and is part of our DNA. It is the responsibility of everyone in our organization. The quality lab at Upinor is responsible for not only meeting, but also exceeding industry standards. Our quality lab and technicians operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year long. No pipe leaves our factory until they have released it. Every day, multiple samples are produced pipe are sent to the quality lab for inspection and testing. This includes samples from every coil of pipe. We test all of our PEX A piping products at all stages of the manufacturing process, from the raw material, to the pipe in production, to the completed coils. This gives you confidence that Uponor PEX A pipe is of the highest quality. Our pipe features a traceable lot number on the print screen. So if needed, our quality department can go back to gather every aspect of the pipe that was manufactured, down to the unique blend of resin used to make the pipe. We make this documentation available to all of our listing agencies. In fact, several listing agencies visit Upanor unannounced multiple times per year to inspect and verify our facilities, processes, and test results. They review our documentation, confirm our testing methods, test our equipment, and randomly inspect our pipe on the factory floor. We also send samples to the listing agency's own quality labs for further compliance testing. Upin Arpex A-Pipe, Propex rings, and Propex fittings are among the most listed and most third-party tested not only in North America, but also throughout the world. The work done in our quality lab includes analyzing chemical cross-linking percentage, testing for burst pressure, and conducting accelerated aging testing. Upinor's testing goes beyond what the listing agencies or governing standards require. This means when you use Upinor, you are installing a piping material that is approved for more PEX applications than any other PEX piping manufacturer in the industry. At Upinor, we are committed to not only producing high quality products and creating exceptional employee experiences, but also to thoroughly managing resources by conserving water through water reuse practices and further helping the environment by powering 100% of our U.S. manufactured facilities using renewable energy such as solar and wind power. We pride ourselves on being able to provide you with the highest quality products and systems to grow your business, while at the same time being recognized as the leader in sustainable building infrastructure solutions. We have talked a lot about the products and processes, but the real story is our people. At Upinor, we are committed to making the very best product for you, and that requires having the very best people to manufacture and quality check those products. Therefore, we strive to create a great employee experience, which is a foundational pillar of our culture and a key focus for us every day. In fact, our efforts are recognized throughout our local community and the industry as Upanor has been consistently named one of the top places to work in the greater Minneapolis-St. Paul area and has received many manufacturing awards from the industry and local associations. I really enjoy being a part of the Upanor quality team because we all have our own unique strengths that we bring to our work, but we all complement each other. We share in a commitment to bring the highest quality products and services to our customers and give them confidence on the job site. We test everything from the materials that go into the product to the product itself at various production thresholds, and we go above and beyond industry standards to ensure customers have that confidence. As a lead, the best thing that I can do to communicate the importance of quality to my team is to consistently set a good example with my actions and invest my time in training my team to continue to make Upanor a great place to work and to deliver on our quality standards. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mark Brady. <clears throat> I am the residential account manager for Upanor, covering the six New England states. I work very closely with my rep counterparts at the Rel Company and my distributor, uh, distributor partners at the Granite Group, uh, providing resources and support for the New England Territory. This evening, I'm going to introduce the latest um, addition to the EP fittings. Um, in our EP fitting family, uh, it is the ProPress or ProPex, I apologize, EP male threaded adapter. 
There are three sizes. They come in half inch, three quarter, and one inch. With one side, the ASTM F1960 connection. And the other side is the male NPT thread. Many of you out there have been using this product for a long time, and you know that it's a reliable product made from the, um, the finest polymers. It is a safe and economical product to use. There are no solvents, glues, or flames required, and it's a proven technology. For the past 25 years, we've sold tens of millions of these throughout the United States, and we've had great success with it. These products are made for us in our um, manufacturing facility in Finland, and we are looking to introduce these in early May uh, with our initial launch. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce Matthew Hurley. Hi, I'd like to introduce another new product for Upanor. It's a full port brass ball valve. And although brass ball valves are not new to Upanor, the current offering that we have is predominantly in the res for the residential market. The ball valve we're introducing is a commercial ball valve. And this has been engineered by our engineering group to, to uh, fit and design with our PEXA piping. So some of the specifications uh, that go along with a commercial ball valve, this is a full port, it has a stainless steel ball and stem, uh, stem extensions up through two inch, the valves available in half inch through two. It also carries ASTM F1960 connections and tube stops, ASTM F1960, um, I'm sorry, NSF, ANSI standard 14 for plastic piping and components, NSF ANSI standard 61 for drinking water components. It's UPC listed at 200 PSI and it's rated up to 200 degrees. The ball valve also will allow up to 50% glycol mix for your commercial applications. So along with uh, Upanor's new uh, brass ball valves uh, and piping systems, we have a complete solutions for your jobs. Uh, now, at this time, what I'd like to do is, is bring Mike back in. Mike, can you tell us what's up next? Absolutely. Hey, guys, it's time to find out what your attendance gift is. And each and every one of you out there are going to get some super duper goggles. OK, so when we send you out the uh, video that you're, we're taking tonight, you're going to be able to take that tour really virtually. Uh, by virtually, we mean 360. We're not talking 4D. We're talking 360 inter, you know. You're going to have to sit in a chair, otherwise you're going to be falling over. So you're going to be able to take the tour on your site, at your time, at your home, and, and be able to really enjoy it. So we're going to send out a couple of these, a uh, couple of each, as your attendance gifts. Why don't you show us how it works for us, Matt? Matt well, Michael, thank you. Um, and again, we really appreciate being able to show our facility and our plants today with you. And the optimal would be having you physically there. But getting as close to that as we can is going to be a virtual reality. These goggles will come out to you. And as you can see on the bottom of this uh, goggle right here, if you scan that with your camera, it's a QR code that'll take that link directly to the videos. You'll open up the goggles, put your smartphone with the video playing inside. And when you put them up, you'll go, oh my goodness, I can see 360, I can see the floor and I can see the ceiling and everywhere which way I go. And be able to take your time touring. If you are interested in a particular area, you're gonna be able to virtually walk right there, stay there as long as you want to yes. see what's going on in the factory. Correct. Just really, really cool stuff. So this is gonna be part of a kit that we're gonna be able to get out to each of you through your grand group outside salesperson. A couple, couple sets of goggles so you can have some fun, take a tour, virtually 360, and, and, and be able to take, take your time doing it. Okay. In addition to that, we'll throw in the box this QR code just in case they don't see the one on the box so that you can uh, hit, the, hit this and you'll be off and running on your virtual tour. Now, we did talk a little bit about it earlier. We talked about a promotion. Okay, we should probably review that because that was quite an offer. The Granite Group, Urel, and Upanor, along with Milwaukee Tool, have teamed up. We are offering this tool here, either with battery and charger or without battery and charger in stock at the Granite Group now. You and only you on the call right now, between now and April 30th, will be able to purchase this tool at your regular price and will be able to enjoy, as we talked about, almost $350 worth of free products along the way. So a tremendous partnership, which is really what Urel, Granite Group, and Upanor do well, is the partnership, and we've teamed up on this great offer. But wait, there's more. Just in case you have an interest, just in case you have the ability. Between now and April 30th, Milwaukee also has the same exact tool 
in available for additional free stuff if you directly load your invoice and place your confirmation that you've ordered this tool along on their Ebate site. All right, so go to Ebates, Milwaukee Tools Ebate site. We'll have a copy of this flyer as well in the kit that we're sending out along with the goggles, the information, and the special itself. So we've got a lot going on. And again, that's exclusively to you that stayed with us tonight and had taken advantage and learned a few, hopefully a few things about the, uh, about the Granite Group and the new exciting things going on and continue to go on in the Equinor family. Terrific. Thank you very much for your time tonight, Matthew. It was a super, super job. I enjoyed the team working with you guys through the night. So in parting, let's say thank you very much to the, everyone that helped tonight. Thank you very much out there in the factory in Minnesota. And what we'd love for you to do is plan on being right back here in our London. There, Actually, no, we're going to take this on the road again next time. May 13th, we're going to be up at our brand, brand new designed grand opening of our Tubbs Ultimate Bath location in Concord, New Hampshire. So Kohler and, and the uh, Sterling Plumbing Company will be with us. And on May 13th, we'll be at the Ultimate Bath Store in Concord for our next virtual trade show. Until then, thank you to Urel, thank you to Upanor, and to the uh, Granite Group marketing team for pulling together another great performance tonight. We're really proud. We do this live, we do this ourselves, and we really, really genuinely appreciate everyone out there taking the time to learn with us tonight. Okay, hopefully this is the beginning of a conversation, not just something that we're going to check off the box. Uh, we want to talk to you more about this. Hopefully this is something you've learned tonight, something you want to follow up with us on, and we look forward to those conversations. So until May 13th, when we're at the uh, Ultimate Bath Store in Concord, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone.